Today, balancing redox reactions in acidic solution. You can also balance redox reactions in basic solution, but there are a couple extra steps. Acidic solution is easier. What I would need you to remember is that the electrons gained in one half of the reaction have to be the same as the electrons lost in the other half. You can't create or destroy electrons. There has to be a balance. See? Balancing. Electrons gained has to be the same as the electrons lost. I'll show you how to do that. Once you had a balance of electrons gained and lost, all you're going to do is add H2O to whichever side doesn't have enough oxygen. And then you're going to add H plus to the side that doesn't have enough H. We're adding H plus because it's acidic solution and H plus is what makes solutions acidic. Let me show you how it's done. I want you to balance this reaction. Chlorate plus iodine makes chloride plus iodate. First things first, assign oxidation numbers. Oxygen's always minus two. That contributes minus six. The total charge is minus one, so the chlorine has to be plus five. This is elemental iodine, so the oxidation number is zero. This is chloride with a charge of minus one, so the oxidation number is minus one. And in here, oxygen is always minus two. That contributes minus six. The total charge is only minus one, so we need it to be plus five here. Okay. What do you notice about how the oxidation numbers changed? Chlorine went from plus five to minus one. It decreased by six. How do you add six negatives? That's adding six electrons because electrons have a negative charge. Here's what I propose. ClO3 minus and six electrons combine to form chloride. Notice the oxidation number went down six, so we had to add six electrons. Now, iodine goes from zero to five. Here's a small trick though. There are two iodines here. Two iodines and each of them has an oxidation number of zero. We're gonna need two iodines here, so we're gonna have to put a little two in front here and each one is losing five electrons because the oxidation number is rising by five. So an I2 will break up to produce two of these IO3 minuses. See we have two iodines and two iodines and each iodine is going from zero to five losing five electrons. There's two iodines, so in total you're losing ten electrons. Zero to five, and there's two iodines. That's where we get the ten from. Unfortunately, this reaction gains six electrons, and this reaction loses ten. So, how do you balance those? Well, what's the lowest common multiple between these two? You can choose 60, but you can also choose 30 because 6 divides into 30 and so does 10. Here's what I propose there. If you multiply this by 5, you get 5 ClO3 minuses, 30 electrons, and 5 Cl minuses. Notice how we just multiplied them all by 5? We want this to be 30 as well, so we multiply each of those by three. Oh. Three I2s, six IO3 minuses, and 30 electrons. Notice now that in this reaction, 30 electrons are gained. In this reaction, 30 electrons are lost. When you add these two together, the electrons cancel each other out, and you're left with five chlorates three I2s combining to form five chlorides and 
six iodates. Notice now, five chlorines on this side, five chlorines on that side, six iodines on this side, six iodines on that side. Oxygen is not balanced yet. Charges are not balanced yet. That's what the extra steps come in for. Where are they? We've got to add H2O to whichever side doesn't have enough O, and add H plus to whichever side doesn't have enough H. So, it's party time. Let's do this. I got 15 oxygens on the left. I got 18 oxygens on the right. So I need to add three to the left hand side. How do you add three oxygens? You've got to add oxygens by adding water. See, three oxygens and five chlorates and three iodines make five chlorides and six IO3 minuses. So now I've got three and 15 is 18 oxygens on this side and 18 oxygens on that side. Oxygen's balanced. The last thing we do is balance the H's by adding H plus. Notice I have six H's on this side and I don't have any on this side. I need six H's on this side and I add them by adding H plus. What you'll notice now is that it's completely balanced in every way. Six hydrogens, six hydrogens. 18 oxygens, 18 oxygens. Five chlorines, five chlorines. Six iodines, six iodines. And even the charges are balanced. The total charge here is minus five because there are five ions that have a negative one charge each. Here we have five ions that have a negative one charge each. We also have an extra six ions with a negative charge and an extra six ions with a positive charge. Those charges kind of cancel each other out because there's six positives and six negatives. Five negatives on this side, five negatives on that side net. Boom! Charge and mass balanced. This is the balanced redox reaction, and you know it's in acidic solution because there's H+, and H+, is the hallmark of an acid. Now you can balance your own redox reactions. Best of luck.